Okay, so this YouTube video is gonna be a quick one just to talk about rules. Rules, I'm a defiant person myself and I always wanna question the rules, but as a host, you need to make sure that your rules are clear and that you make sure that your guests understand them. This is gonna make sure that you guys have a positive relationship because people are human and sometimes people are gonna break the rules. How you react when people break the rules and what kind of rules that you have in place in advance is gonna make all the difference for the ratings after this guest checks out. So you can't tell them after they check in that there's a specific rule to the house. So another good reason why I don't have Instabook on is because I wanna make sure people are very clear on the rules. So I'm gonna go over right here on the screen the additional rules for my house. So there's no smoking indoors. Um, I do allow smoking outside. Uh, clean up after yourself if you use the kitchen. Respect my house and my house guests. This is a huge one because sometimes people uh, don't wanna be bothered. Um, and sometimes people just wanna book, especially when I do the properties by the room, they just wanna be booked specifically in a room and they might not wanna be socializing that much. So what I do is I say that if the door is closed, do not disturb. Um, if the door is open, then feel free to socialize. You can contact me at any time with any and all questions. Before you do book the listing, please take the time to ensure that all information is available to you. For seamless check-in, please immediately uh, message us with your check-in time so we can give you the information to check in. We want everything to be five stars. That's another thing that I repeat throughout the listing. We're trying to get five stars. We want to get five stars. Please be open to feedback. Please send us any feedback. I constantly always in the rules and in other places on I say if something's not up to five stars how can I make that so? I do this so I can always incorporate the fact that there are rules to my property but we do want you to have a good time. We do want you to enjoy your stay and we are looking for that five star rating after you check out. So one of my most important rules that I'm going to share with you guys today is no additional guests that are not booked through the app. No third party bookings. I repeat, no third party bookings. This is a very important rule, okay? It's not only a rule for Airbnb and their platform in which they state no third party bookings. I'm telling you from experience that I've barely experienced many problems with Airbnb, but having instant book on and having people book for their third party bookings is where I've had most of my issues. So if there's someone who can't book for themselves, you gotta ask yourself, why can they not? And I've had people blocked from the app before because of an unpleasant experience. So if they can't book for themselves and they have their brother, mother, father, sister, cousin, random friend, somebody booking for them, you have to ask yourself, why can they not book for themselves? It comes back to making sure that you wanna have like qualified, safe people in your house. That is just, I can't stress the importance of that rule. So um, another rule that I have is no pets unless you clarify and ask first with me. This is so that there's no unsafe pets on my property. Um, I love dogs, I love cats, I love all sorts of animals. I've had birds at my Airbnb. Um, I do allow pets at my Airbnb, but let's face it, there are certain dogs that are not people friendly and there's certain cats that are not people friendly or they might not be friendly with other animals. So if I have one guest with a very uh, calm, friendly cat and I have someone come in with an aggressive dog, it's gonna make for a bad Airbnb situation. So it, right in the rules, people have to clarify me what pet they're bringing I do ask, is the, is the dog or cat trained? Uh, I make sure there's not gonna be any accidents. And uh, basically, once they've clarified with me, I can make sure that all friends, furry or otherwise, are safe in my Airbnb. And that's what's really most important to me is guest safety and guest satisfaction. The other rule here, quiet hours after 9 p.m., that's so important. Um, I have if the basement is booked, that's because it gets really loud um, in the one house with the basement, but it's quiet hours after 9 p.m. for most of my listings anyways, because some people are there studying, some people are there doing whatever. I pride myself on having not party house, and people book my house because they, my houses because they are quiet and they expect that standard. So I put right in there that they have to accept that there's no 
There's no loud noises essentially after 9 p.m. so that everybody can enjoy their stay. The last one is my most important rule for no drama, no chaos, and no problems in my house. No alcohol and no drugs on the premises. That's zero tolerance. That's for the safety of my manager. My managers are, are nice people. Um, they live inside the properties. They should never have to deal with trying to figure out a situation where someone's drunk and they feel unsafe in their own home. So I've cut that possibility out by having zero tolerance for drugs or alcohol on my property. And since I've started enforcing that and really um, making sure that each guest acknowledges that that's a rule before they book, I have cut out party animals and I've cut out the chaos and drama out of my Airbnb. And that's why I'm sharing these additional rules with you because I want you guys to have uh, the smoothest Airbnb experience that you can, especially as hosts, if you're hosting more than one property, um, the less chaos, the less drama, the more enjoyable the experience is. And of course, you get to make more money than market rent. So all around, it's a win-win for hosts and guests. That's it for my quick video on additional rules and the rules that I have. I hope it was helpful to you guys. If there's additional rules I didn't mention or other things you're thinking about putting in your Airbnb, please drop a comment or send me a direct message because I want to know what you guys think about these rules. Do you think I'm too strict? Do you think just strict enough? Or do you think they're too loosey-goosey? I don't know. You guys got to let me know. Drop a comment and make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching.